Okay, I wish I could make the screen bigger, but I can't. I'm getting ready to go to work. I missed yesterday because I had a crown come out again. It, keep, it kept coming out. And then discovered my tooth is cracked in half, so I won't be able to save that tooth. And I've got another tooth i got to get pulled so I can get my bottom partial, which I've been putting off. But that's what not this is and what this is about. Instead of posting a daily scripture or, you know, posting something cute and funny on Facebook, I just want to talk to everyone that I know and just, just tell you this every day before I leave for work, that Jesus loves you. No matter what you've done in your life, there's nothing you've done that he won't forgive you for. He said to bring the lost, lonely. I'm sorry, my son just died me. It distracted me. Jesus wants everyone. There's not much time left. That, that People don't realize that everything that's fulfilled in the Bible has been. And that Jesus could come for his people anytime. And so if, if you don't already know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, I just ask that you give Jesus a chance. Challenge yourself. Read the Bible. And you tell me where in the Bible it says that God is not alive and that he is not a loving God and that he did not create us. I, I challenged my son yesterday who really isn't an atheist. He doesn't disbelieve in God, but he just doesn't believe in all the everything about it. So he was telling me about this place they went and saw where it used to be an insane asylum of some kind or a mental hospital and, and it was supposed to be haunted. I said, so... And he said they got a really bad vibe, so they didn't go inside. I said, so do you believe there could be spirits? He goes, yeah, I believe that some people that are died are walking around. I said, do you mean spirits that maybe didn't know how to cross over and they're just kind of trapped here? And he's like, yeah. I said, so you believe in spirits? He's like, I guess. I said, okay, well, let me ask you this. Scientifically, how did science create spirits? That spirit came once used to be in an earthly vessel, used to be in a human body. And when it died, the spirit lives on, but the earthly vessel died. Now, if God didn't create that spirit, how did it happen scientifically? Did it start out as an amoeba and then somehow something exploded and it became a spirit inside a fleshly body? He really couldn't answer that. But it gave him food for thought. You can take a Rolex watch, and it's perfect, beautiful, expensive $50,000 watch or whatever they cost. Take it completely apart, throw it up in the air, and, and expect it to land and fall into place. It's not going to happen, and that's not how our, our, our existence happened either. Our bodies are too perfectly made. If you ever watch any videos that show the inside of a human body and how everything inside the body has its own job and how everything works together to make the whole body function perfectly you can't help but believe that only a god could do that not something scientific even if it was something scientific like we started out as an amoeba who created the amoeba so you know that's my preaching for the day i just want people to know that god is real god did create us and god wanted a personal relationship with us and he knew because of sin which was introduced by adam which god kind of already knew that was going to happen anyway but nevertheless he had to separate himself from mankind but he didn't want that he wants a personal relationship with us and he knew that the only way he could was to go to earth and to be one of us to understand what we we're going through so god sent his son who was the word in the beginning was the word the word was with god the word was god God was with him in the beginning. Jesus literally was the Word of God. And in John 1, 14, it says, And the Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. So God came to earth as man, his son. He sent his son, but it was God in the flesh that came not to condemn this world, but to save it. And to know, God can honestly say that he understands everything that our fleshly bodies go through because Jesus was tempted in every way that we were, are, or have been. And he did that so that once Jesus paid the price for sin, as sin cannot enter heaven and God cannot look upon you if you have sin in your life, and we all have sins, we were born in sin. Thanks, Adam. Uh, he knows that he can have a personal relationship with you if you accept his son as the son of God and accept that he died and paid the price once and for all for all our sins. He paid the price for sins I haven't even committed yet, but I know I will because we all sin because we're all flesh and blood. 
and God knows that and so that's why he has Jesus as our middleman because Jesus will go to bat for us and if we ask him Lord forgive me forgive me for doing that you know and if, if he will anything you ask in the father's name Jesus will in, in the name of Jesus the God will forgive you he will give you as long as it lines up with his word you know he, you can't say God please kill that person because I don't like them no I'm not going to work that way but he did that with his only begotten son who was without sin without blemish to pay the price so that he could have a personal relationship with his children with us and that's all God wants he's a gentleman he's not going to force it on you he gives you the choice between life and death if you want to live in the world and be of the world and, and, and glorify sin and, and think it's okay then you know it breaks God's heart but there's nothing he'll do about it he gave you a precious gift of eternal life through his son Jesus all you have to do is say Lord forgive me for my sins for I am a sinner I know that you're the Son of God and I know that God raised you on the third day and that you are seated at the right hand of God Lord just come into my life and make me Lord make you I want to make you Lord and Savior over my life once you pray those words and you mean it and you confess it with your mouth to another person hey I gave my life to Jesus and I'm a new creature born because I died to my sinful death and I live through Christ it's that simple it's nothing hard all God asks you to do is to love one another as you love yourself and to love him with all your heart mind body and soul those are your few words of wisdom I'm actually a minute over because I got to go to work I love everybody remember we are called to love everyone we don't have to like them we don't have to like what they do but we have to love them love you bye